Hello fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2016. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it is an exciting month and particularly for you, the highlight is going to be, well, many actually, a few actually, but it really kicks into high gear for you mid month. It is in the middle of the month that we are going to have a full moon for you and fellow earth sign Taurus speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto in your sign. You add to this Venus moving into your sign and meeting that Pluto this month as well. And well, it sets the stage for all kinds of things, whatever your heart wants, all kinds of things coming to the surface and very well, a lot of those desires being met as well. And really it is heart based. What is it that your heart wants? Now this could be in love, but this can also be in life as well, in terms of your creative projects, in terms of what it is that you desire to create. That can all be part of how this energy manifests. So let's take it one at a time, okay? Let's first start with the beginning of the month, right out of the gate. We've got a new moon, new moon energy entering this month. And this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendship and the friends you have, the groups you belong to. This is a new moon which suggests new people coming in, fresh start kind of energy. And there's a, a sense of spirituality. There might even be like a kind of a positive karmicness to the energy that is coming in. And there's a real sense with this of possibility as well. It may very well be that a friend presents to you a new opportunity, a new possibility, or that you meet someone new who ultimately in the fullness of time is part of facilitating greater opportunity into your life. If there ever was a time for you to be social, this would be it. So make sure that you are out and about, especially as the month begins, Halloween and the days following, these are the days that you want to be as busy as possible. It will only benefit you that much more to, to be so, to do so. And especially be willing to meet new people. That really is key. Whether it is a casual conversation or whether it ends up being some deep spiritual philosophical exploration, regardless, could end up being very, very beneficial to you, helpful to you, restore your faith in many different areas of life at that. Now, as we move to the middle of the month, as I started off with, it is the golden time for you in the middle of the month. We've got this beautiful full moon and fellow earth sign Taurus speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto. This does suggest a measure of luck being with you. Mid month, get that lottery ticket, buy yourself a lottery ticket. It doesn't hurt, right? If it's whatever it is, it doesn't hurt to take a chance with this particular kind of energy taking some type of risk, some type of chance uh, could actually go extremely well for you where there's just that ability to hone in, to understand where your best power move is and to make it happen all for your greater wealth. So absolutely, if you're, there's a chance you're wanting to take, a gamble you're wanting to make, mid month is absolutely the time to do that. As we move to the later part of the month, we're ending the month on a new moon. Now this new moon is happening in the sign just before yours, probably a good placement for this. It does look like this particular new moon is really about you looking at um, what maybe you haven't wanted to look at before, maybe looking at some fears in particular. And so wherever it is that you haven't been acknowledging what it is you really feel, wherever it is that you haven't dealt with some fear, this is where you're going to be able to acknowledge that, you're going to be able to identify it ultimately so that you could heal it. I do want you to be mindful though, this particular new moon has energy around it of, you know, things not being as clear as they otherwise might be. Um, whether that's intentional or otherwise. And so as I look at this, and particularly this placement, um, it could very well be that a situation, the truth of a situation is kind of staring you in the face and you're not acknowledging it. You're not really seeing clearly or acknowledging to yourself what is the plain truth in front of you. Now this may be working out in terms of a matter having to do with whether it's a work project, but very possibly this could end up, these stirrings could end up uh, through love as well. So as I said, this is a big love month, love energy for you this month. We've got that full moon in the middle of the month. It's really lucky, especially if you're open to meeting someone new. 
lots of fertile energy with this particular full moon as well. So if you're trying to have children, uh, this could be very fortunate in that if you've been trying to do something positive for your children, helping them to make a positive change, getting good news around children, all of that, very blessed mid month. But if you're open to meeting someone new, lots of flirty energy and the kind of flirtation that can change a life. You add to this Venus in your sign and it does suggest that you are feeling the glow, you are feeling the presence. Now this month as well, especially as we move later into the month, we are gonna have Venus meeting Pluto in your sign. And that does set the stage for a truly transformative moment in love. Whether it is the love that you have, whether it is the love that you desire, some truth is very likely going to be palatable, really. And the only thing that kind of could get in the way a little bit is that new moon that's saying, I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at that. Okay. I'll just deal with that in my dreams. I don't have to deal with that in my life and my world. Um, maybe he means this, maybe it means that, well, it could mean all these different things. Well, your intuition kind of knows. Okay. So if someone's showing you who they are, this is going to be a time at the end of the month where you really want to be believing them because there's going to be a lot of emotion. There's going to be a lot of getting carried away possibly, uh, from the middle as we move forward into the month. And, uh, it's very possible that getting carried away in a moment and then what is afterwards, two distinctly different things. So just be mindful of that. Okay. It could happen also with this particular energy. I mean, it really could be that you meet somebody, the most amazing person and you really like them and then, uh, come to find out that they've got this whole history that you didn't know about, uh, that's just presented to you. It's like, oh, okay, that's what's really going on. That's part of the past, part of their reality, part of their experience, what you want to do with it. Totally up to you. These are the types of scenarios that could work out with this energy. If you're in an established bond, you know, like I said, lots of fertility energy there, particularly mid month, but in an established bond, there's going to be such a strong desire for sweetness, for softness, a strong desire, uh, to have heart based love, to feel that sense of love with this person. And that's really what you want to nurture. Um, I think if you are in an established bond, this energy is going to work itself out a little bit differently. And also do keep in mind that especially as we move just a little bit further, uh, down the road, especially as we get to the very end of December, beginning of November, of uh, January, lots of really lucky love vibes start to happen for you at that time. Um, but this is nice too. This is flirtation. This is openness. This is possibility. And so be open to that possibility and see where it is that it needs to take you and possibility with the person that you love as well. Um, very possibly there's going to be a desire to change things up, to do something fun, to feel something more deeply, to break out of a routine. It may not necessarily be completely understood by your partner. Um, but that is possible with this. And I also got to say, it's also possible with this, that it is actually a, some type of attraction to another person that makes you aware of what your partnership actually means to you. So that is also one way, very small, small percentage of you out there will experience this energy in that way. But that is one way this energy can be experienced as well. What I love about this month for you is that sense of heart is that sense of love and love in every area of life. You're bringing love to your work. There's something that you are oozing that is attracting good energy your way, affirming energy your way. Enjoy it. Enjoy every moment of it and allow yourself to be just a little bit carried away and see who it is that you bring forward within yourself and see who it is that you like about that person when you acknowledge all the things that truly are beautiful about you.